Yeah. So uh, my second question for you, during your uh, sports journey in football, what was the hardest kick that you had to attempt? Well, kicking, um, you know, kicking field goals is what you get paid to do, obviously. And not every field goal is is uh, as easy as the next and a lot has to do with um the conditions and this and that but really the the most difficult kick i had ever done was not a field goal but it was doing the a surprise on ki onside kick in the super bowl in super bowl 30 for the steelers and the reason that was so difficult is it's not something you do all the time. You kick field goals all the time. So that's something that is, you know, your muscle memory is there and, and uh, you've just done it many, many, many times. But a surprise onside kick is, is a pretty big deal and it has to be pretty perfect in order for it to work. And it's just something unusual. And so, you know, kicking a field goal in the Super Bowl is, is a little bit uh, um, stressful and anxiety ridden. And the way it, it happened for me is um, when uh, when we were preparing for the Super Bowl back in, this is the um, 95 season, but the 96 Super Bowl, my coach, my special teams coach was, um, Bobby April, and he was with me for three of my four years prior to with um, um, the Atlanta Falcons. And so I was with the Falcons for four years. My first three was Bobby April's first three years as special teams coach. And then he left and went up to with Pittsburgh. And after my season at or my career there at uh, Atlanta, I went up to Pittsburgh. So I was reunited with Bobby April. And he knew of this particular kick that I had um, worked on. And I kind of show, showed him this in, in, uh, um, when I was there with the, uh, the Falcons, but we never used it in a game. If we used an onside kick or a surprise onside kick, it was uh, Terry Glanville liked this one called the bunt where you kick it, you know, say 11 yards in front of you and the other guys block and the kicker recovers it. And that's also a hard kick. But um, I used to do this one that I would slide off out to the right. And so I showed Bobby that while I was in um, uh, with the Falcons, but we never used it. And, but I was pretty uh, proficient at it. And uh, I get to the, my first year there in Pittsburgh, we take a run all the way to the Super Bowl. And so we have those two weeks leading up to the uh, uh, Super, or yeah, leading up to the Super Bowl. So Bobby pulls me in, he says, hey, look at what the, we were playing Dallas. He says, look what this guy does. And you know, if you see a guy take off early um, on the end, you know that that leads a, leaves a pretty big void. And this guy would do this consistently. And he says, hey, we, we, might, we might do this surprise onside kick in the Super Bowl. And I'm thinking, Haha, yeah, right, it's never been done. No chance that's going to happen. So I didn't think much of it. <clears throat> so I, I worked on it a little bit during that week and, and kind of just left it in the bag. And, you know, then now we lead up to the Super Bowl. And we were just about – we were down, we were big underdogs. We were playing Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith and, you know, uh, Michael Irvin, that gang. And um, we were, we were fighting back in this game and started to come back. And I went out and I had to kick a 46 yard field goal. And so that was a little stressful um, in the Super Bowl. but we get that and I come off the, the sidelines to get my tee and they go, surprise onside right. Jeez. I'm like, what? Did I hear that right? You got to be kidding me. And that's about how much warning I had. So I go back out on the field. And so a couple things with a surprise onside kick, you can't give it away. You got to 
approach the ball as if you're kicking it deep and, and make it look like you're kicking it deep and everything's got to be kind of the same. And then you slide, the way we did it, we slide this off to the right hand side. So I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, this is a giant, um, this is a big kick, it's a hard kick. It's uh, all of a sudden, you know, I was surprised to, to learn I'm doing this all of a sudden and went out there and executed and, and luckily everything went flawless and it bounced right in our guy's hands and it was a big momentum turn in the game and and if it weren't for a couple of two errant interceptions we may have come back and beat those guys um but that's one of the more proud moments just because you know you can say oh i had a big kick in this game and you know it was the deciding factor and that was exciting and and there's been some of those and and those are all nice and those are pressure packed but to be able to do a surprise onside kick. It was the first one ever attempted, as far as I know, in an NFL game. Now they've done the deliberate onside kicks where everybody's expected and they got their hands team up there and and all of that. But this was a surprise, um, and we recovered and it really really changed the momentum in that game, which could have easily um, led to a victory for us. But yeah, some things happened. We didn't win and. Hey, I hear you, man. Hey, but the, tough blows. Yeah, like, yeah that was a, that was the uh, <clears throat> probably what I think was the most actual difficult kick or play that I've attempted in the NFL. Definitely. Hey, uh, the Saints did that same thing against the Colts in the yep. Super Bowl at halftime. Yep. Coming out at yep. halftime. Yep, they did it. Out, um, but I was the first, <laughs> and they did I a different. You, they did a different style than what we did, and. Uh, Matter of fact, I can't do that kind. That was something that people started to do at the end of my career, and that was not one that I could ever master. And so um, my hat's off for those guys that could do that one real well. That's hard to do. Yeah, you play Madden. At, growing, growing up playing Madden, you're going for an onside, get, onside kick to get a another possession. It's It's hard to even receive those things, to be honest. <laughs> just being a <laughs> a spectator of the game, just watching it, it's probably nine times out of ten that you don't get it. So it's kind of a risk. Oh, it's a big risk. And that's why I did not – when they, they told me, you know, two weeks before the game that, hey, they've noticed that this guy, you know, vacates his position. And if we slid this ball out there, we could recover. And I'm just thinking, yeah, that's way too big of a risk. No – coach is going to call that in the Super Bowl that's not going to happen so I've just I really did but I blew it off didn't think about it much and then all of a sudden come off the sidelines and say you're on and it's like oh you guys were serious um <laughs> wow okay 